but this felt like an explosion when it first went off. At first I felt the rumble with like a, a slight boom. So at first I thought it was part of the construction. And the next thing you know, my boss comes in and she was like, oh my God, did you feel that? I don't think we're gonna get any storms after what mm -hmm. has been an absolutely brutal week of weather in the city. I mean, Deg, mm -hmm. some of the ugliest days in memory were Tuesday and Wednesday yes. of this week. Would you not agree? Um, I would say, to a couple of days ago, I would not have used the word biblical, but today, biblical. Uh -huh. It's been a biblical week. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory, always. You know, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukhat Kodash. And I want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. You know, for teaching us his truth, you know, not leading us astray. The men who we believe, you know, who the Lord has set up through his spirit, you know, to um teach us this truth, man, this gospel. You know, and um just like the scripture says, this gospel should be preached throughout all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. You know, um, to you sincere believers out there, you know, you sincere, hopeful elect, shalom, you know, listening and learning out there, you know, and also teaching this word in sincerity and truth. You know, um, you know, the apostles, they ain't led us astray, man. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, they've taught us the right way. We're so blessed to be, what, well, immensely blessed, you know, to have this, um, you know, this knowledge bestowed upon us in these last days. You know, the scriptures speak about how wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength for salvation. And um, you just heard it. You know, I was just played you a little bit of a clip from this channel, Anonymous Official, which is pretty much a concoction of all these news clips come together, you know, outlining what's going on in these last days. Um, you know, some of you might tune into Prepper channel, some of you might tune into Jason A. I know I used to choose to tune into that guy Jason A's channel back in the day, or Darbu Seven, or Canadian Prepper, or Prepared Homestead Prepper, uh, you know, you, I think that's the name of his channel. You got you got all these different channels that are pretty much, um, you know, um, you know, set up to pretty much keep, you know, keep you on the um the scoop of what's going on. But ultimately, the apostles and the elders, you know, they've been pushing this. They've been at the helm, you know, um, not just um, you know, watching but prophesying what they're watching, and um, that's a beautiful thing. Because, um, you know, in fact, just saying that what I want to do is I want to actually go into this scripture first before I even um, speak anymore. Um, so this is Isaiah chapter 62 and 6. It says, I have set watch, uh, watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace. Day nor night, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. And what's the name of the Lord? Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. All right, that um, that's those are the names that we call upon. You know, the scripture says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower; that the righteous runneth into it and are safe. Um, you know, and that's our faith, that's our belief. And if you don't believe that, man, you know, you go do a roly poly off a cliff, man. We don't, we ain't entertaining unbelievers. We're only out here for the believers. You know, the elect. And today is April the eighth. You know, you got this, um, the whole world is standing and waiting, you know, for the eclipse, man, to, to witness this sort of eclipse. Where well, you're going to have the um, the moon or the new moon, you know, pretty much, you know, um, well, the Lord said that there's going to be signs in the heavens. See, we can get them scriptures. We can get Luke 21. We can get them scriptures, you know, where the Lord set up the moon for a season of, uh, you know, for a, a declaration of the times, man. All right, so we got to watch for that too, you know. And everyone out here thinking that these this is just a regular, ordinary day, and you know things are gonna go on as as normal. And it's well, hold on a minute. Well, you ain't watching for the signs. Didn't the Lord say He just we just read it? He's gonna set up, you know, watchmen upon thy walls. So we 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 are the watchmen, you know. We're we're set up to blow the trumpet, man. You know, when we see these earthquakes and these tremors and that and whatever happening in Babylon the Great, see the Lord is is just. You know, pretty much, it's like, it's almost like he's just throwing at them feints. Not even really feints, like they're throwing at them jabs before he, you know, he's going to land that right hook. You know, and America gets, you know, pretty much laid out. And, you know, America's face hits the canvas. 
you know, it's coming to that time. We're coming to the wire, man. And, you know, we've got all these preppers losing their minds, talking about how you got to get more chickens and you got to get more, um, you know, get more, you know, get well stocked up for your neighbours and that. Well, we fuck the, na- fuck the neighbours, man. You know, fuck the um, unbelievers. You know, we the only ones we believe in or the only ones we're doing this truth and teaching are the elect. You know, the only thing we believe in is the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's, what, that's the stability of our times. All right, so we're going to, you know, Lord willing, we're going to push forward, you know, and no matter what comes our way, no matter what curveballs are thrown at us, we're going to push forward through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and keep watching. 4.8 magnitude earthquake tremors caught on camp across the region. All right, so things are happening. You know, excuse me, you know, I've, I've just moved house. You know, things have kind of been, I want to say Salakia. I haven't really been doing as much videos as late, but hey, the spirit's on me. Um, I see the elder brother, uh, Barak, um, I think it's Barak Gabar. He put up a, a, a couple of scriptures. And in fact, one of the scriptures I just read, Isaiah 62. Um, but he was requesting for brothers to put up curses, you know, and also blessings, you know. You know, brothers, you know, pray for each other. You know, um, you know, scripture says what Yahweh Shai said, if you do it unto one of these, you do it unto me. That's a part of charity. Charity shall cover the multitude of sins. You know, remain in the spirit, set your affections on the things above. Colossians 3 and 1, read your Bible. You know, we're in a time of the end. You know, things are happening. You know, now's the time to stay tuned into the things of the spirit. Don't get too caught up entangled with the affairs of this life. And like I said, I've been I have just moved house and that, and Satan can do that. He can throw you curveballs and make you get bogged down with things oh you gotta move this you gotta move that and it can be stressful you know but hey but nonetheless you know we're gonna keep moving through the spirit um no matter that you know no matter what comes our way and ultimately we're coming to the time we're coming down to the wire you know where every man's faith is gonna be tested the hour of temptation you know uh, i don't even know why i'm going into all of this stuff but hey because i you know i had a whole new lesson plan but you know i want to um I, i've been thinking about you know Fighting a good fight of faith. That those scriptures come to mind. Acts 14 and 22. You know, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we through much tribulation enter into the, you know, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom. So, you know, like like the woman just said on that Fox News, it's like, I don't want to say Bible times, but she said it. We're in like, you know, people are going to have to consider. You know, that's why the scripture says, well, let me play that. Let me play that part again. I'm going to get a scripture just to line that. Just to line up with what she said. Before I do that, I'm gonna read verse seven in Isaiah 62. It says, "And give him no rest. Give who? The Lord. Give the Lord no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth." And that's why we go hard. You know, the scriptures speak about giving diligence to make thy calling and election sure. For if we do these things, we shall never fall. So let me go ahead and play you this clip. Dave, yeah. this week, would you not agree? Um, I would say. <laughs> To a couple of days ago, I would not have used the word biblical, but today, biblical. Uh-huh. It's been a. You hear that? So now people are starting to, you know, they're starting to really wonder. You see, all the scoffers and scorners, all the haters, all the naysayers, all the people, oh, you said this was going to happen, you said that was going to happen. You know, hey, the scripture, Camaleo said it, Acts 5 and 38. If this council or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the most high, you cannot overthrow it. Let's happily you be found to even fight against the most high. So you ain't fighting against us, man. We're, we're, we're just the messengers. We're telling you what's going to come. We're telling you what's going to happen. You know, and really you're fighting against the Lord. You know, because we're not speaking our own words. We're speaking the words of prophecy. We got the testimony of Yahweh Shai. So let me go ahead and read you this um, Hosea. Um, I can start with four and six. And I'm gonna, there's another one I'm going to get as well. It says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. You see that? So... You know, our people, um, they've rejected the Lord, you know, despite the fact that the word is out there, the word is coming out thick and, you know, like a fucking fire hydrant, <laughs> like a, you know, like a, like a geyser, you know, just, um, you know, um, in fact, let me, hold on a minute. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, like a geyser, like a, like a, a geyser, like a hot spring in which water imminently boils, you know? Sending a tall column of water and steam into the air. So we're like a geyser, you know. This word is like a geyser. You see, the word is likened unto water, right? Um, the scripture says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So we're like a geyser, man. 
And there's nothing that anyone can do to stop this word from going out. So this word that's, that's, that's going out, for those of you, you Israelites out there that, that reject it, you know, the Lord said my people are going to be destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So you people out there, you're done. You, you know, the Lord is going to take you out. All right, remember the scripture says the same must know it after death by pain. So this is the time, we're like spiritual preppers, man. You see, you got you got these doomsday preppers out here and that and whatever, and they got, the day, they got the doomsday clock. Why do you think they have something called a doomsday clock? Because they know that them nukes are going to fly. It's just a matter of time. All right, we're in a time of wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places. You got signs in the heavens. You got the chariot sightings. You got eclipses happening, solar eclipses. Man, you know, the whole earth, you know, or the whole land, land mass of America got about to go dark. You know, there's signs in the heavens, man. All right? And these things, they, they, they be affecting the animals and stuff. If the earthquakes are affecting the animals. You know, I believe I was reading through one article that said that, you know, zoos, you know, particular zoos in particular, they start going crazy. It gets kind of crazy in these zoos. Tortoises, they start mating, you know, in, in a time of an eclipse. They start, they've observed these animals over the time when they've had eclipses before. You know, there was one article that I was reading, tortoises out of nowhere, they just start mating, they start humping. You know, um, these animals, hey, the scriptures speak about teeth of wild beasts, I am legend style. So we have to understand that the Lord is in control. See, Esau, he can't control, you know, um, the sun, the moon, the stars. He can't control these things. That's out. That's way above his pay grade. <laughs> and that's something that we, we get to boldly proclaim to him is that he he's not in control of that, man. You know, even though he, you know, he's, his heart is lifted up as he wants. He's got a God complex. He wants to be like the most high. The Lord's hey, the Lord's appointed his bounds that he can't pass. And that's one of them. All right, this is Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. In and seek, it says, till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. So you see, Jake's gonna, you know, when it's all said and done, they're gonna be they're gonna be living it up, partying, bullshitting. They're gonna be did no, you know, no diddy in it up and all of that. Until until guess what? When they're being afflicted. That's when people want to call on the most side. That's when people want to realize, you know, that there is a power that they just can't fuck with. And that's the power that we serve. And that's his name that we're proclaiming. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. We're telling you who's doing these things. In fact, let me get Amos 3, let me get Amos 3 and 6. I'm going to play you some more of this clip. But I just want you to see the scriptures. That's where the power is at. See, the Lord just said, oh, keep it simple. You know, the Lord, man, we just got to teach this word, man. It's good to speak about the simplicity that's in Yahweh Shai. And that's what we're here to do. Amos 3 and 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? So well, who's blowing the trumpet? The watchmen. We're blowing a certain type of sound, you know. We're, we're telling you, like, we're, you know, it's, an, it's a sound of an alarm of war. Because we're not in the time of peace. The opposite of peace is war. So we're not in the time of peace, man. We're in the time of war. All right? You got Babylon the Great being invaded by these immigrants and that and whatever. They're just letting them in the borders. Okay? You got these immigrants that just, you know, empty homes that they're finding. They're squatting in them and all kinds of stuff. They realize that, you know, they're realizing that they, they found loopholes in the system. They can just squat in these yards and that and whatever. <laughs> you know? Um, you know, things are happening all at once. You got the National Guard being prepped in these stadiums. I think Patrick Humphrey was saying that in... One of his videos, he's another prepper, you know, that wants to talk about, you know, making sure you're getting enough chickens and stuff like that and whatever. Because that's really all they have. These preppers, that's all they really have is, is to trust and rely on carnal efforts rather than the spirit. See, we have the spirit, man. See, the spirit working with us. You know, the scripture says the angels of the Lord encamp about, about them that fear him and deliver of them. That's Psalms 34 and 7. See, we have the scriptures, man. We're spiritual preppers. But you see, these doomsday preppers, they rely on carnal efforts. To get them through. And they don't even really have the answers themselves. As to what's going on. Alright. But that's okay. Because the Lord ain't gave it to them. But he gave it to us. And he set up men. The, our beloved and elders and apostles. To teach us what's going on. And that's a beautiful thing. And that's why we can't take this for granted. It's about being grateful. Alright. Things are aligning. You know. um, You know. The modern day Egypt. Which is America. Is in turmoil. Alright. It's hella divided. We're in a time of wars. Rumors of wars earthquakes in diverse places and they even having to admit on fox news look we're in some biblical times and which we've always been in biblical times see people just wanted to put the bible on a back burner but now they it's coming to the point now where they can't deny 
that things are happening on the earth at an alarming rate and there's nothing that they can do about it. Gamaliel, Acts 5 and 38. This counsel be of men, it will come to naught, but if it be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it. Lest happily you be found even to fight against the Most High. You can't do nothing against this truth. And we get, you know, great pleasure being able to declare that to you, that you can't stop this truth. It's a geyser. You can't stop it. Okay, no matter how many dams you put up, we're breaking through them dams, through the Spirit. Because you can't contain this word. All right? You can't stop it, man. Like the apostle said years ago, it's like the, it's like the juggernaut. You keep throwing things at it. We keep getting momentum built up. We keep bashing down these barriers and these, you know, these things you throw at us. So send the vocab Malones, all of that. It don't matter, man. Send your agents, your spies. Okay? Because the elect shall praise his holy name. And the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runneth into it and are safe. And that's the message that we're coming with, man. So fuck all you disp The scripture says, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Simple as. All right? So let me keep reading Amos 3 and 6, and we're going to go back to this clip. Shall a trumpet be blown in a city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh have not done it? You see that? So when there's a bad time, evil means a bad time in any city. Guess what? The Lord's the one that's behind it. Right? Read your Bible, Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? The scriptures tell you that the Lord kills and he makes a life. He wounds and he heals. So when people are going through turmoils and, you know, one minute their, their life is all grand and, you know, they, they got plans and all that. Then all of a sudden, next minute, they're buried under, a, you know, a 15-story building from an earthquake. They just know that that's what the Lord did to them. That's when people want to start, you know, throwing God out there and saying, you know, they're holding a minute. This is, you know, that's when they want to start realizing that this is, you know, this is something beyond their control and there's nothing that they can do. You see, that's why the scripture says, because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, man. Because these people are hella proud. So let's play some more of this. In the hallway in New York City, nearly 60 mile an hour wind gusts. Look at this lightning striking the statue. Look at that, man. Light, uh, lightning struck. Striking the Statue of Liberty. So let's talk about that. See, let's let's have an open forum conversation about what's going on in the, on, on the, in the world right now. All right. Apparently, April the third, two thousand twenty-four, lightning striking the Statue of Liberty. One of the brothers told me, other Apostle Ramlob spoke about how it looks like the Hebrew character Wa. You know, so hey, we can't be ignorant in a great thing, in a great matter or a small. Be not ignorant in anything. All right. So the Lord, man, hey, the Lord is doing some things out here. All right, you see what, what's happening with, with tension with Iran, you know, and the West. Okay, you've got embassies being attacked. You've got, you know, uh, British uh, aid workers being put to death, trying to help people, the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. You've got Israel being demonized, looking like, you know, you know, looking like the devils that they actually really are, because they are the devils, man. Now the whole world is looking at them like the devils that they are, that they're supposed to be looked at as. Because they are. They want to say that they're the chosen people. How can they be the chosen people when they're hosting Pink City over there? When they're hosting uh, happy parades over there, flaming parades. So how can they be the fucking chosen people? That's why the scriptures speak about the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. But you see the Statue of Liberty that you see on the screen that's getting struck. So that's why you can't be ignorant of that. That's a sign of the times. The Lord said he's going to show signs, man. Okay, even in Planet of the Apes, they showed you the Statue of Liberty buried in her neck up, up to, buried up to her neck in sand, showing you the destruction of America, showing you that Babylon the Great is going down. And I remember Elder Apostle uh, Kabar, he said, look, we've got to start reading Isaiah 19 a lot more. So let me, hit, let me go ahead and read you uh, Isaiah 19, a message to Egypt. What's the modern day Egypt? America, Babylon the Great. Uh, read 11, Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Okay? So we're, we're here to prophesy against America, against Babylon the Great, which the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old, right? What, Jeremiah 28 and 8, prophesied both against, great, against countries of, of war and evil and pestilence. No different for, for America. So let me start with Isaiah 19 and 1. It says, Behold, it says, The burden of Egypt... Behold, the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, excuse me, rideth upon a swift cloud. 
and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. So all these idols, these false idols, you know, stemming out of Babylon of Great America and that and whatever, all these fucking, you know, uh, so-called religious buildings, mosques and, 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 and temples and this and that, you know, statues, okay, obelisks and that, which go back to sun worship, paganism, Cleopatra's needle, the Lord is going to bring that down, the Statue of Liberty, okay, all the people that believe in, you know, women's rights and feminism and all that, all these ideologies and all these, you know, ways of life, the Lord is going to bring that crash into its knees, man, and this is the time that we're living in, and yesterday I did a video with the brother, um, Raza Amath, you know, it was beautiful, hey, that's a beautiful brother, man, you know, very, you know, very humble, very charitable brother, you know, it was beautiful to see him, you know, he lifted up my spirit, man. You know, I've been going through some things. I'm sure all of you out there are going through some things. Hey, pray for one another. You know, may you howl bash me, I was shy. Because, hey, love. You know, strengthen your mind. You know, we're all going through some things and we're supposed to. Hey, remember the scripture speak about, you know, um, Micah 7 and 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. So we're supposed to be going through these things, you know. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, and be zealous, therefore, and repent. So we're getting purified, Akim, you know? We're getting purified. And it's the last days, man. And all these things that we're getting purified with, you know, all these circumstances and scenarios, you know, pretty much is building us up a thicker skin, you know? Endure means to make hard, right? He didn't endure from to the end. You know, the same shall be saved. So as we're getting purified, we're getting built up for the, for the ultimate test, which is the hour of temptation, you know? But like I said, you know, the, um, the brother, the, you know, the beloved brother, Ruttas Muff came over. We did a video and we was talking about, you know, uh, the apocalypse in the scene from the X-Men. You had Xavier, he was losing his mind because he was saying he's never felt power like this. And he's supposed to be one of the top X-Men, but he said he'd never felt power like this before from apocalypse, you know. And, um, and pretty much, you know, the Lord is coming back on some apocalypse shit, on some bright burn, on some general Zod. You know, spare nobody. Like, that's what the Lord... Hey, the Lord's only coming back to save the elect. That's in Matthew 24. So how's the Lord going to come in? He's going to come in on that swift cloud, just like we read. And that's so, that gigantic so-called UFO. All right? And the scriptures speak about every... You know, he become holy coming from clouds and every eye shall see him. Yeah, that's not talking about an actual cloud. That's talking about a so-called... You know, so, a, a UFO. A so-called UFO, man. A gigantic one at that. All right, and you see, you got NASA as well. And NASA, they see during the time of this eclipse, they're talking about how they're gonna shoot free rockets at the moon during this eclipse and that and whatever to test the ionosphere and all of that and whatever. And they named the mission after like a the, you know the Egyptian god or you know of of uh, of darkness, you know, which is supposed to be the opposition to the Egyptian you know uh, god Ra, which is like the sun god and that. See, Esau deals with paganism, man. All right. Now, don't get it twisted. See, Esau, the technology that he's been given on the left-hand side, see, he's channeling that energy, okay? But he's been given that, okay? And don't go on like the left-hand side ain't real because the left-hand side is real, but the right-hand side is more powerful. I always quote this. We quoted this yesterday in a lesson, talking about Janice and Jambres. But guess what? When Moses and Aaron stepped to them, you know, the, the right-hand side prevailed. Janice and Jambres failed. So there's nothing that anyone can do to stop this truth, man. All right, so let me keep reading. It says, verse 2 in Isaiah 19, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And that's what's going to happen. Yeah, you see the, um, the states in, a, a, in you know, the Union over there in the states, the United States, so-called, you know, it's hella divided. You know, the Republicans against the Democrats. 25 states right down the middle. Versus 25 states, Republicans, Democrats. But guess what? That's the Lord dividing them. That's the Lord dividing America. Okay? You just had the Francis Scott Bridge collapse. They're saying that, you know, even Redacted was coming out and saying how it was a, you know, it was a, a cyber attack, which they showed you that it leaves the world behind. So what the fuck's going on with that? I mean, are we, con like, come on, bro. Like, conspiracies, like, you know, you got the word con, meaning with, you know, conspiracy, meaning what? To breathe, breathe together. Like, you know, you know, two or more people coming together to hatch a plan, you know? And that's what these, these elites do behind the scenes. But then they label us crazy. They call us conspiracy theorists, man. They, and it's easy to call someone crazy 
Even Dave Chappelle said that it's crazy. It's easy to call someone crazy. The worst thing you can call someone is crazy. It's dismissive. You know? But then they even showed you in the movie Dark Knight with the one with Bane, the second one, I think it was. You know, because I, I believe the um, the guy that made the, uh, the, the, the uh, Oh Say Can You See, the national anthem for the US, you know, um, you know, he, uh, the Francis Scott, he came up with that. But they put that in the movie Bane and they showed you the bridge collapse in that movie Bane and they showed you a tear attack. And I'm going to use cold words. I'm going to say tear attack, but you know what I mean. We've been telling you about these black swan events. We've been telling you about, you know, that the scripture says, never trust thine enemy. The scripture says, what? Uh, Be not ignorant of Satan's devices. We've been telling you about these things. Well, the apostles have been telling us for years. So now when we see these things happen, what's that supposed to do? That's supposed to confirm our faith, strengthen us. You know, let us know that holding them. We're in the right lane. See, these other guys, these unbelievers, these scoffers and scorners, these doubters, naysayers, people that want to add a takeaway from the scriptures, they're in the wrong lane. But we got it right, Arkim, you know? Any few sisters that listen as well, we got it right, man. They got it wrong. So that's a beautiful place to be, man. You know, being stable because you know that you're in the know. You know? And they even showed you in that in that scene when you know when when Bane he blew up that stadium. You know, there was a tear attack in that movie. You know, a Dark Knight with the one with Bane. He blew up that stadium. It was just after they they sung that national anthem. That little that that you that was singing. Oh say can you see and all of that. And they showed you just after he sung that national anthem. That there was a tea attack and a bridge collapsed and they had three two two. You had the uh, you know the, the box. You know you can have certain, you know you pay you pay more money. You can get these top class seats. They showed you the box seats and it had the number that they showed in the box seats was three two two, which goes back to the what skull and bones. Come on, man, these secret societies, man. So Esau's putting it. That's predicting programming. They're telling you what they're gonna do. Cyber attacks. They told you that they're going to do that. White, hey, hey, the white lion shit that came up on that beach. It was from a cyber attack. You know, um, you had, um, what's it called? Um, you had uh, uh, planes falling out of the sky. You know? Planes were falling out of the sky in... Um, just say it. just got rid of the, uh, the video. Let me pull it back up. Planes were falling out of the sky in... Um, you know, in the movie, leave the world behind. You know, so these people ain't ready for that. They mute this shit because I know that it's gonna be. You know, I was gonna see Satan just messing with it all this time. It's been in there. You know, we've kept it at a nice stable pace. You know, see the scriptures are coming out. Satan's messing with the um the remote. It's messing with the screen saving options and all of that sort of shit. But that's all right, man. But hey, but the movie leave behind, leave the world behind shows you. You know, they're putting, you know, and that was that was funded by what? The Obamas, Michelle and Barack Obama. So they're showing you what they're going to do before they do it. They always do that. They put it in the movies, man. So you can call us conspiracy theorists all you want. Okay. I think the Singapore, which is known for a white lion, which they had the, uh, you know, they had the ship on the side of the ship was what? White lion. They put that in the movie. Okay. But Singapore is known for their white lion. All right. And they flagged a, a, a Dali shipping container, okay, which the ship was supposed to be heading to, you know, um, the ship was supposed to be heading to uh, uh, Sri Lanka, which has a lion on a flag. So these these things are not coincidental, man. You know? These things are not co coincidental. So we have to be up on game. We have to we have to watch. We have to filter it through the, you know, through the scriptures. Be not ignorant of Satan's devices. Let me get a scripture. Let's get Ephesians 5. And um, 15, he saw what the Apostle Paul said. He said, um, see then that they, that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So we got to redeem the times, man. And that's it. We've got to be circumspect, meaning to look around. All right. So let's go back into this video, man. I'm just going to play you the rest of what I wanted to get out through the spirit um, because, you know, Satan's doing some stuff with the... Um, with the YouTube on my TV. So let's just go ahead and play this. Initially, they started barking, I would say, about one or two seconds. 
So I yelled down to my son to check the furnace. He said everything was okay. He came up the stairs, and then you felt the house shift. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for about 10 seconds. I've never felt anything like it. And it's so interesting. The dogs felt it before you did. They, they, you said that they started barking. Right. They, they initially, they started barking, I would say, about one or two seconds before you felt an explosion. You, I mean, you heard an explosion, and that's what I thought it was. It hit New Jersey, it hit New York, it hit Philadelphia, even Vermont, all reporting feeling the trembling. Something weird about this solar eclipse, it's being treated differently than I remember any solar eclipse ever being treated in my lifetime. NASA apparently will fire three rockets. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the, uh, the earthquakes. Let's get a scripture on that. See man, they, we don't look, man. We're not missing nothing. See we're, see where's like we're spirit, we're like spiritual weathermen. We're spiritual news reporters out here, man. Don't get it twisted. This is what we're set up to do, and we're doing this through the fear of the Lord, man. We know that, you know, because we want to be saved, Akim. You know, and this is real talk. You know, we want to be saved, man. That's why we do this, man. It's good to speak about presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. Go hard, man. Now's the time to go hard for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It's been that time, but especially now. Matthew 24 and 6, And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right? And we're hearing about wars and rumors of wars. You got um, you know, the uh, the draft over there in the Ukraine, the age. They, they've lowered the age. To, you know, now you've got 25-year-olds. They're being called. They killed off all the older generation. Now they're, they're coming for the youngest. You know? The war with Russia, Ukraine, you got the war between, you know, uh, Palestine, Israel, you know, and all of that, bro. Embassies are getting blown up and that. You got, you know, uh, British aid workers getting taken out. So things are happening, man. And it's good to speak about the least of the flock shall draw them out. See, Israel's causing problems. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yo, the, this man's kingdom done. It's all over the place. Esau's getting sloppy with it. All right. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. There you go. Earthquakes, man. And she, look, the dogs felt it, felt it before you did. Yeah, because animals are spiritual. Okay? Animals are spiritual. Let me take it back. What I thought it was. It hit New Jersey. It hit New York. It hit Philadelphia. Even Vermont. All reporting feeling the trembling. Something weird about this solar eclipse. It's being treated different. Initial reaction was that the furnace had exploded. So I yelled down to my son to check the furnace. He said everything was okay. He came up the stairs and then you felt the house shift. Back and forth, back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like a thief in the night. Like the scripture speak about the day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. See, one minute you could just be working in your garage. See, you've got these Edomites in these suburban towns. You know, he might be working on his bike. He's working on his motorcycle. You know, he's in the he's in the um, he's in the garage. Your son, you know, he feels like the ground shake, the whole house is shaking. Son, what's going on? He's yelling down to his son. See what I'm saying? These people ain't spiritual, man. They're just caught in what they're doing and their pride and you know, you, you want to look good riding on that bike that he's fixing up in his garage, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's these people are just thinking about, you know, carnal things. And that's well, that's you know, that that's what they've got. All they got is carnality. They ain't got a spirit, you know? The Lord ain't gave them the spirit. That's why we got to set our affections on the things above our kin. Colossians 3 and 1. All right? Or back and forth for about 10 seconds. I've never felt anything like it. And it's so interesting. The dogs felt it before you did. They, they, you said yeah, they we should just said It's so interesting. The dogs felt it before he did. Because animals are spiritual. And I've got, I got animals. You know, I've got multiple animals, okay? I've got a couple of dogs too. You know, and they are hella spiritual, man. And they, they're very, you know, anyone that comes to the house that, that they don't know the sound of, the scent of, they be barking. But they're set, they're sound, they're set up to sound an alarm. You know, but to speak about the dumb dogs that cannot bark. See, these false prophets, that's what they're liking onto. Because here it is, you know, they're supposed to be, you know, you've got guys that take their hand off the plow. You've got guys that don't want to warn you. Guys that are just slothful. It's good to speak about considering the ant. See, the Lord, you know, speaks parabolically. He, he'll give comparisons, examples, you know, considering how hard ants work. Have you seen these soldier ants and how hard they work? We've got to be diligent at them soldier ants, man. You know what I'm saying? And they don't stop. I remember when my, my, my when I was growing up, in my, you know, my mum and that and whatever, you know, and my, my stepfather, like, 
you know, we had a, a ant infestation and boy, they, they walk in a line. They just, they're constantly taking things back to the nest, but they just don't stop. They're diligent. So we, the Lord said, look, consider thou the ant, thou sluggard. So we got to be, scripture speak about taking your hand off the plow and you're looking back. You're not fit for the kingdom. So we got to do the work while the Lord, hey man, I will work the work of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. So this is it, man. This is it. You know what I'm saying? Like when we call before the judgment seat, before the throne, we must all pay up before the throne, right? Before the judgment seat of the Lord. We want to be able to say, well, Lord, I was doing the work. And barking. Right. They, they initially, they started barking, I would say, about one or two seconds before you felt an explosion. You so hold on a minute. The, the dogs were barking one or two seconds before. So the animals, they'll let you know. And they're saying with this whole eclipse thing, that the animals, they're going to exhibit like odd behaviors and that. They've done that in the past. You know? So I'm just, I'm just like, you know, we got to be circumspect, man. We just can't be out here like a blimp, like a blimp head. You're just walking around like, like a helium balloon head. Like you're just walking around. Oh, like you're just out there. No, fuck that, man. We got to be circumspect, our game, you know? We have to be spiritual. We got to pray. You know, we got to combat, combat the forces of, 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 um, you know, these demons and that messing with us and that, whatever. Things are getting heightened now. Okay. We're coming to the time of the miracles. Let's not forget. You know, things that are unexplainable to the carnal mind. Okay? Are going to be happening. Ghostbuster type shit. Like Elder Peshaw was saying. Elder Pussy Gabar did a video on that. You know? Heard an explosion. And that's what I thought it was. It hit New Jersey. It hit New York. It hit Philadelphia. Even Vermont. All reporting feeling the trembling. Something weird about this solar eclipse. It's being treated differently than... I remember any solar eclipse ever being treated in my lifetime. NASA apparently will fire three rockets at the solar eclipse. Okay. The devil comet will become visible during the solar... And that's the signs in the heavens, man. NASA firing three rockets. The devil's comet going to be visible. All, this, all these things that are happening, the Lord said he's going to show them signs. All right. And I'm going to close out on that. Luke 21. Okay. And it says Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations. You see that? Remember the scripture tell you because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. All right. So that's the time that we're in. And upon the earth distress of nations. So what do you think? These people ain't going to be, you know, just walking around willy nilly like everything's all good and jiggy. No. You know, we're in the time where the Lord is really like highlighting what's, you know, like holding a minute. Like the scripture says when, um, let me get a scripture. Uh, was it? Wisdom of Solomon 12. That's the spirit. My, my app's already on that. Wisdom of Solomon. Might be 12 and 17. All right. It says, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 12 verse 17. Where, but when men will not believe that thou art of a full power, thou showest thy strength. And among them that know it, thou makest their, their boldness manifest. You see that? So you got people out there that don't believe. They're going to die in their unfaithfulness, right? And second, just 15 goes into that. All right. But when you don't, you don't believe that the Lord is of a full power, then that's when the Lord's going to show his strength. That's when you're going to get caught out there. That's that, uh, yeah, that peace and safety spirit. It's not good to be in that peace and safety spirit, man. That's when the Lord's going to catch you with your pants down. All right. And the Lord's going to, you know, going to spank some ass. The Lord's going to go and bust heads. Remember the scripture says, thus, shall, in, thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, man. Right? You know? And we, I mean, we can't get enough. Oh, you, we love talking about this. We love talking about the end. <laughs> we can't get enough of this, man, because ultimately, man, we, we know we have faith. You see, you guys are unfaithful. You know, you don't have no faith. You've got no stability. You, you, you're the ones that are out there running around, <laughs> headless chickens. You don't know what's going on. But you see the elect, man, we got hope, bro. Like, come on, man. The scripture says that whatsoever things are written for time are written for our learning. So all these things that are happening, all these people, oh my God, all these news articles and that, all right, news, you know, uh, presenters and that, oh my, it's biblical times. And, but we've been talking about what time it is. Eclipse in April served to test the world's most powerful particle accelerator during April's solar eclipse to search for invisible matter that secretly powers our universe. All of these things have led people like Red 
hot-headed libertarian to say, it almost sounds like the world leaders are trying to summon the Antichrist. Yeah, almost. I mean, they all... Yeah, he saw deals with the left-hand side. He said they'd be working on CERN and that. They'd be, they'd be dabbling in things on the left. See, Esau's been given power on the left-hand side, and the Lord is using Esau. And that's another thing we can't forget. All right, the scriptures speak about the deceived and the deceiver are his. The scriptures tell us clearly... You know, uh, the Lord have created all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. So there you go. So even the wicked, yes, even the wicked was created by the Lord. So you mean, you tell me you ain't going to fear a power that's got us in the situation that we're in now. You ain't going to fear a power that's being, that's created the wicked, the wicked. Of course, we fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He created the wicked. Put us in hardcore slavery. Shit, man. Hey, enough is it. Bro, just, you know, fuck the pride. It's the meat shall inherit the earth. They do. Understand. Give it give it up, man. Give up. There's a higher power, man. And his name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. It's over. Okay? It's bow down now uh, in advance. <laughs> you know? That's what we that's the message we're coming with, man. Hey, they, hey, fuck it, man. I I don't want that smoke. But you see, faith has to be mixed with the word in order for you to be a believer. All right, so let me read. I'm going to finish off here. Luke uh, 21 and, and 25. And upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. You've got all these storms that are happening. Storms in the north of England. Storms in, you know, all, all over this country, all over the world, man. Storms are happening. 100 mile plus an hour, uh, miles an hour winds plus. You know? Signs in the heavens, chariot sightings, eclipses. And they be talking about the corona as well. They be bringing up that corona, man. You know, in these news articles talking about this eclipse, they, they be focusing on the corona. See that, but them buzzwords. They be bringing that back up. Back up. Remember the coronavirus? They be, hey man, they be, they be flirting with that word again. So are they going to unleash an, another pandemic? You don't know. All right, but the Lord said pestilences, earthquakes in diverse places. So these things are happening. Okay. It says, immense hearts failing them for fear. And and uh, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming with, in the cloud, with power and great glory. You see that? And when these things begin to come to pass, and the Son of Man talking about Yahweh Shai, man, coming in the cloud of heaven, the gigantic so-called UFO to to gather his elect, the believers. And when these things begin to come to pass, then li uh, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. We're about to be we're about to be saved. And that's our hope, man. Alright, so with that, you know, um you know, um and I and I saw Elder Elder Manata Zakba, he did a video talking about how this mission of them firing the rockets at the, at the solar eclipse, they named it after the Egyptian god of darkness, you know, which is the opposite of the Egyptian sun god Ra and that and whatever. And you see, you see, this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. So how can, how can it not be spiritually Sodom and Egypt, man? Revelation 11 and 8. And they be dealing with that Egyptian uh, terminology. They be dealing with Cleopatra's needle. They be dealing with these things. Why? The sun god Ra and uh, the sun, you know, the, the, the uh, Egyptian god of darkness. Because Esau, he deals with witchcraft. Okay, in fact, let me play you some more of this. Definitely doing that. They actually built a giant altar to sacrifice a red heifer in Israel, is specifically to summon the Antichrist. There's just a lot of weird things. You need a catastrophe in order to focus people's minds. In order to you hear what he just said? You need a, a catastrophe in order to focus people's minds. That's that auto ab chaos, man. See, I want to, I'm, I'm trying to close out, but the spirit is. But you, you need a catastrophe in order to control people's minds. That's called auto ab chaos. Remember, Esau wants that new world order. And we can't forget about the chip. You see, all chaos is about to happen. But in the midst of that chaos, he's going to have the solution, which is for you to take that chip. Or you want safety, stability, get chipped. That's why they be pushing out the implant. That's why they be... See, right now, the, hey, the implant is more than playing fucking Mario Kart with your mind. All right? Remember, the scripture speak about... You know, that he might, um, no man might buy or sell, see, save he that had the mark. So you ain't going to be able to do any form of transaction. It's going to become a normal way of life for these people out here. All right. So this is, this is big stuff. All right. It's the mark of the beast. Revelation 13 and 16. 
And for all you people that thought we were chatting shit, hey, you gonna be left out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fucking stupid adverts, man. I'm just gonna mute this shit. And Lord willing, we can just get back to the edification. You see, Satan's always got to do his thing. You know? And it's Satan as well, because this advert, usually, they only last like five seconds, but this advert's like fucking 30 seconds long. But that's okay. All right? That's all right. Because ultimately, man, you see, hey, Satan's mad. He don't want this word coming out. But guess what? We're going to move forward. We're going to move forward in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. See, there's no, hey, well, what else have we got to do, man? Scripture says, woe be unto me if I preach not the gospel. Alright, check it out. Humankind and uh, opened the, the path to a real system of global governance. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and Alright, so so are we are we bugged out, man? Are we have we lost our have we lost our minds? Why is it all of a sudden everyone's talking about the scriptures? Everyone see when it all hell breaks, you see when shit hits the fan, when all hell and all confusion and calamities start happening, people always want to turn to the scriptures. Why? How come they ain't quoting from the Quran? Ain't no one quoting from no fucking hadith. Ain't no one quoting from no fucking, you know? Come on, man. Everyone's looking. Hey, that's why the scripture says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read Isaiah 34 and 16. You know? And the Lord is about to X the fuck out of America, man. You had the eclipse in 2017. You know, the trajectory was seven a state went over seven states named Salem. Now this one set over seven states named Nineveh. So that's that X. And the Lord is X in America. It's the signs in the heavens, man. This ain't just another day, bro. Like, I don't... If you thinking that it's just another day, you ain't setting your affections on the things above. You're carnal. You ain't thinking about spiritual things. You ain't thinking about... You know, you ain't watching... Them be for light in the firmament of the heaven to give light. The Lord set these lights in the firmament for signs, especially the moon. You know? Especially the moon, man. Okay? The Sabbath comes in on, on a new moon. L listen, bro, like, the word month goes back to moon. That's how we measure the time. Okay? The moon is very important. Okay? It's upon the earth. In fact, I'm going to get a scripture on that. Let me get Sirach. What is it? Sirach 43. See, the apostles taught us these scriptures, man. Sirach 43 and 6. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. You see that? For the moon is a sign of feast, a light that decreaseth in her perfection. The month is called after her name. Increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument for the armies above, shining in the firmament in heaven. So the point is, it's a, it's a declaration of times and it's a sign. All right. So the Lord set that up, bro. And Esau, that's above his pay grade. He can't do nothing to stop that. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to what's about to happen on April 8th of 2024. First of all, CERN is going to be starting up their Hadron Collider to collide two atoms. See, I didn't see, 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 I didn't even know that. See, they're, they're firing up CERN at this time as well. So things are, <laughs> hey, man. And hey, guess what? Esau can't do anything outside of the bounds of the Lord. So the Lord is using Esau to do this. You see what I'm saying? So things are, <laughs> hey, man, hey, that's why, hey, brothers, put up them curses. Put up them blessings too. All right, on the sincere believers, but put up curses on Babylon the Great. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Shalak, Rayam. You know, Anashim, Wa. Aragim wa mashapatim wa ashim, you know? I'll call all these demons wa abad babal, you know, destroy Babylon the Great. And the Lord is making good on his word. Okay, the Lord said, look, well, Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. But it shall it shall establish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So the Lord is doing some stuff out here, man. And if you don't believe it, man, like I said, go do a cartwheel, man. Go eat some candy floss. You know? Go queue up for a roller coaster in a theme park. And I hope your ass flies off. Because you have these freak accidents. They, they call them freak accidents. No, that's the Lord that does that. The Lord's got spirits that are created for vengeance. You simple ass. You sit in that chair. You strapped in. I'm ready! And you strapped in that fucking roller coaster. And all of a sudden, you upside down. And you wondering, 
One minute you was in a chair, next minute you wondering why you in midair. Because your ass tempted them all side, man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, you know what, man? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it at that. I just wanted to just do this lesson. Spirit done jumped on me, man. I said, you know what, fuck it. You know, things are happening. Um, solar eclipse. You know, be circumspect, you know, we're at the end. And you know, and, and shalom to the hopeful elect.